Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. New Gemini 2.5 Pro, 06, and 05 update. It seems that yesterday, Google rolled out a new upgrade to their Gemini model, introducing the Gemini 2.5 Pro, 06, and 05 update, which comes with enhanced capabilities in coding, reasoning, science, and mathematics. What's wild is that they just released an update a month ago at the Google I.O. Developer Conference in May, and now barely a month later, we're seeing another new version. Impressive. Let's dive in. Now, the latest 2.5 Pro reflects a 24-point ELO score jump on Ella Marina, which is maintaining its lead on the leaderboard at 1470, and it has a 35-point ELO jump to the lead on Web Dev Arena at 1443. So it continues to excel at coding, leading on difficult benchmarks like Ader Polygot. So this is something that also has improved greatly on its styling and structure. So it's more creative with formatted responses. Now, in regards to its benchmark scores, you can see that the Gemini 2.5 Pro, it's definitely greatly more improved in terms of all its capabilities in comparison to its previous model. But obviously against many of these other proprietary models like OpenAI's O3, O4 Mini, Cloud4 Opus, Rock 3 Beta, and the new upgraded DeepSeek R1. So you can see in almost every benchmark, it is either beating all these models or closely up against it. So now one small change that you can see is that in terms of its code generation, it is better in the Aether Polygon benchmark than in comparison to Cloud4 Opus, which is great. And in terms of its agenda capabilities, though, it is slightly behind many of these other models, including the Opus 4 by approximately 10 points, which is pretty big difference. Now, in terms of the input price and output price, the Gemini 2.5 Pro is listed at $1.25 for 1 million input tokens with no caching. And for 1 million output tokens, it's listed at $10 which is definitely greatly cheaper than the other models, but not as cheap as a DeepSeek R1. So if you want, it has now rolled out to Google's Gemini app. You can access the model or you can start chatting with it within Google AI Studio. You can also get the API for it right away and readily access it via API. It's also available through Vertex AI if you wanna use it. Now, in terms of its long contacts and coding capabilities, this model has definitely taken a huge leap forward. It was capable of creating this 3D DNA model with 3 chairs, and it is getting insanely good at output and shows how far its reasoning, structured code generation, and creativity in terms of formatting has come. So in this case, it did an excellent job in creating this visual for this logic of a DNA, and it handles different sorts of prompts pretty good in comparison to its last update, which was released a month ago. So let's get started by starting off with a SAS landing page. And we're trying to see how it is in terms of its front end capabilities, as well as how creative it is with this additional section in the prompt where I'm asking it to add as many features. And as you can see right away, it is working on creating our SAS landing page. So let's see what it actually ends up building for us. And there we go. So we have the SAS landing page. This is a pretty good looking front end for our app. So you have the main placeholder for the image, and then we have the powerful feature section right here, all the testimonials, the pricing page. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job in generating this and added as many features as possible to make it better. But what we're going to do is go back into the Gemini app. We're going to ask it, can you please add a background animation to the landing page? And let's see how well it is in taking this prompt, adding it that animation for us. Let's wait for a moment. And just like that, they have now added this background animation, which looks really great. So you can see that it's able to take these prompts in pretty quickly, and it did a great job in creating this front end for us. Another one, it's just something I did for fun, where I created this retro RPG adventure game. And you can see that there's a way for you to have a storyline built within this game to interact with. Then you can go through all the objectives, which doesn't look super great, but you can see it's something small that I had coded out in a single prompt. Impressive. So you can see there's the ability to attack this goblin over here. And you can see how amazing the quality output is for this model. Next up, we're going to test the model in creating a butterfly in SVG code. So let's see what it's capable of outputting over here. And there we go. 
So this is the butterfly that we have gotten in SVG by the Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is definitely something that is a bit more artistic than the other models, which is great. And the formation of the butterfly is nice. And as you can see, it did a pretty decent job for it. So I would definitely give it a pass. Now, what we're going to do next is to create an SVG based data visualizer. And this is something that animates transitions when data actually changes from the JSON file. So it's going to work on creating animated bars, lines, and pie slices smoothly. We're trying to see how well it is in terms of visualizing the data in SVG, as well as how well it is in taking in my prompt for this. And there we go. So just like that, we have an SVG data visualizer. So you can see the bar chart that will display our data, the line chart, the pie chart. So you have the data set one that you can load in. You have the data set two, data set three within the actual folder. Now, what I'm going to do next is create a React-based chatbot UI with type A indicators, message streaming, and markdown format support. And here's the result. So we have our chatbot fully generated. This is a React app where it has the ability to change the themes. And you also have it so that you can stream any sort of messages, which is also great. So this is something that it was able to generate within a couple of prompts. And it did a pretty good in terms of the amount of tokens it spent. Next, now this model can actually draw escalator diagrams, which is pretty incredible. So I uploaded this, which is basically the official benchmark scores to this new model. And I just said, can you recreate this plot in the escalator scale? And it created this. So all I had to do was to store the file in the proper format and then uploaded it to the platform. And it did a pretty incredible job. So here's the output, which is pretty great because I can now go and edit if I want, right? So I think personally, it's going to really improve my own workflows and it's pretty detailed. So I did want to highlight this use case, which is of interest to me. And I've seen a lot of people playing around with this specific feature on X. Now I found a few prompts on which it struggles compared to the previous version. So let me show you a quick example. If you go to compare mode on AI Studio, you can pick two different models and compare them against each other. So we're going to pick the previous version of 2.5 Pro and the latest version. So here's my prompt. And based on my test, it has consistently struggled with this specific prompt. So while we are running that, here's a previous generation. So that previous version of Gemini 2.5 Pro took about only two minutes. This version took a lot longer and we were looking at almost six minutes. Now, when it comes to chain of thought that it produces, or actually the summary of chain of thought, I haven't really seen huge differences between the two versions. They seem to be pretty similar, but for the code, here is the output from the previous version. So we can just run this, and this is a really hard prompt, but the previous version was able to do it without any issue. I think before the previous version of 2.5 Pro, only Cloud was able to produce these results. And also the new version of DeepSeek R1. This is the output from this upgraded 2.5 Pro. And when I tried to run this, I think there's a bug in the code. So you don't really see anything at the output. Now it is slightly behind Cloud 4, in my opinion, in overall coding capabilities with agenda capabilities on the Swaybench verified test. But it is still something that does great in comparison to that model. It might not have the same agenda capabilities, but it is greatly cheaper than the Cloud4 models, as well as many of the other OpenAI models. So I highly recommend that you take a look in this link in the description below. And that's basically it, guys, for today's video in Gemini 2.5 Pro. See you in the next one. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Bloggy from Technique Force. Run successful blogs in hands-free mode. AI Autoblogger gets you unlimited organic traffic with unique high-quality articles. The only AI writer that uses multi-AI and creates how new content based on latest trends. Get traffic, authority, leads, sales, and build organic success for any business you choose. Bloggy AI creates better and unique articles with multiple AIs. Bloggy gives you the option to use all of the best AIs to write unique and high-quality content that stands apart and ranks faster. Writes fresh and original content on 100% autopilot. Bloggy can run on full autopilot, 
Just give it topics and keywords, and it will automatically churn out fresh articles as often you want on complete autopilot. No need to manually write each article separately. Algo keeps articles fresh and relevant. Write highly relevant articles on the schedule you specify. Create articles in any language. So you can use Bloggy to create articles in any language you want. Choose between all the languages that your favorite AI supports, including English, Spanish, French, Japanese, Italian, Hindi, Chinese, German, and dozens more. Select any websites and automatically rewrite their articles in the language of your choice. It automatically post articles to your WordPress blogs. And a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get Bloggy now. Just go to getbloggy.in.